While I contemplate how much I need a holiday right now, I want you to ponder this. Going on holiday, it is a dream, certainly around this time of the year. And whilst we book our flights and we pack our bags, we daydream about the sun, the sea, the endless fun, the adventures that we're going to have, but we often neglect to plan for the dreaded what ifs, and they do happen. What can quickly turn our holiday into a nightmare? I'm talking about lost luggage, maybe, uh, missed flights, and all the other dreaded surprises, especially if we're abroad. But it doesn't all have to be doom and gloom. Here to tell us a bit more about travel insurance to educate us and how it can protect what matters to us is Tracy Feeks from Standard Bank Insurance Brokers. Uh, Tracy, we really want to have an enjoyable holiday. But I think there is there is probably not a human being who has been on holiday who doesn't have one of those nightmare stories. Something that went wrong. I've lost luggage before. We travel a lot in this this line of work, and it can completely change the narrative of that holiday. Often you've spent a huge amount of money on. What exactly is travel insurance? How how does it work exactly? Well, I think travel insurance is definitely not your light and fluffy insurance. And it's something I think a lot of people don't give enough thought to. And yeah. you think, well, I've just booked my flight. I'm going on holiday. I'm going to have some fun. And nothing's going to happen. <laughs> but it's always the unforeseen stuff that happens when you're on holiday. You trip. You walk off a pavement. You injure your ankle. You end up having your appendix out. Um, and unfortunately, those claims are paid in dollars and euros. And it, it can become an expensive thing that has a negative effect on your holiday. So travel insurance is something I think people should look at when they're all traveling. You've mentioned a couple of things that, that it does cover, but maybe in a broader sense, what does um, travel insurance cover you for? The basic, what can it cover the you for? The basics of travel insurance are actually for medical emergencies. So in your case... Most important. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's for medical emergencies. There are the additional benefits that you could buy travel insurance for, your baggage loss, um, baggage delay. You arrive in a place, your luggage has gone off to Hong Kong, but you're actually in Paris. Um, cancellation and curtailment, an important one. Um, it's quite important actually to buy your travel insurance straight after you've bought your ticket. In the event that your travel journey gets cancelled or you're very ill and you can't travel, you've got that cancellation and curtailment cover. So, but it's medical emergencies and that's where the expenses occur. Uh, how do I take out travel insurance? Is it something that's generally offered when you are engaging with a, a you know, travel agent or something like that? Is the onus on you to then you know, approach a, a broker, how, where do I start? Well, I think a lot, a lot of times nowadays people buy their tickets online and if you are going through the process of buying your ticket, you'll see that some of the airlines offer you the option to add on travel insurance. Um, if you're buying your ticket with a bank card carrier, um, most of them offer a free basic travel insurance embedded into that. It's always important to look at what the free is and then look at the options of adding on the buy-in. For instance, the free wouldn't give you cover for baggage loss or cancellation and curtailment. So the option then is rather to buy up the additional benefits. Your travel agents can help you online, um, your card companies and so on. How do I customise my insurance to suit my specific holiday? Is that something that, that you can do with, with ease? There are options. I don't think it's with ease, but there are options out there. So most of the travel insurance is pre-underwritten, and if you shop around, they pretty much offer the basics. But if you are going to do something adventurous, like climb Kilimanjaro or Everest Base Camp or something, shop around because there are companies out there that will underwrite those products. It comes at a premium, um, but it's definitely worth it because you want to know that somebody's going to send a helicopter to get you off the mountain if you need it. Um, you don't want to have to be carried down on a donkey or something. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, um, thank you so much. I, I really am um, being forced to think so much more about my own situation. And yes, it can be sobering, but it's also vitally important that we think about these things. You worked pretty hard to save up for that dream holiday, so make sure that you can um, enjoy it. Take out travel insurance to be one step ahead of all of those unforeseen circumstances because they really can throw you a curveball. And if you're interested in just a general insurance quote to educate yourself even, take that first step in looking at a broader cover throughout your life and want to find out more about the options and plans that are available to you, just SMS insure to 31492 for a callback and a quote, and as an added bonus, once you've got that quote, you stand a chance of winning one of six Samsung smartphones, and the S10 is awesome. Um, and it's gonna be the perfect companion on your next holiday as well. So get your SMS in, get that quote, and make sure that you put yourself in line to win, but most importantly, that you cover yourself the next time you go on holiday, and all those terms and conditions really do apply. Get an insurance quote and stand a chance to win one of six Samsung S10 smartphones. 
Simply SMS the keyword INSURE to 31492 for a callback and quote, and you could be a winner.